Hello, hello and welcome to another update video about Bitcoin. Yeah, on the Bitcoin chart, we haven't really seen much movement today. Um, in the very short term, we are consolidating sideways at the moment. We have the support levels on the chart. We have an immediate resistance area on the chart, which is probably not that important anymore, but I still have it on the chart. Talk about that. And then the next upside levels, next upside targets on the chart as well. So we basically have everything that we need. In this video, I only want to focus on the shorter time frame. In the previous video, we also talked about the daily chart. And um, yeah, let's take a look at the short term chart, shorter time frame. Um, main, main question on this chart is at the moment, if we are already in the fifth wave yeah, from the 5th of July low, or if this is still a fourth wave. I already posted yesterday um, that my idea is that we are already in the fifth wave. Yeah, I find that a bit more likely given how overstretched this rally has been from yesterday's low, but it could still be a B wave. So I'm going to zoom in. So it's possible that this year, um, or maybe I should start on the 5th of July low for anybody who's new on the channel. So obviously the idea is that we could have bottomed here on the 5th of July in a larger degree fourth wave. The price turned around in the trading area in the support zone and anybody who found entries in this support box and on the daily chart is a bit larger, but it's just the same levels here on the one hour chart. I just reduced the size. Um, I took out the 23.6 FIB level so we can add micro supports and everything. But yeah, essentially we rallied out of our trading area, out of this reversal area. This was the time to look for positions, okay? And um, I think now it's even time to think about taking some partial profits at least, which I've done as well. But this was the time, okay? Um, sometimes people say it's so difficult to trade with Elliott Wave. Well, actually it's not, not necessarily. I mean, trading isn't easy. Trading isn't easy. Trading is probably one of the most difficult undertakings um, everybody could, could, you know, could, could attempt to make money. It is extremely difficult, but it is simple. Um, yeah, it's not easy, but you know, regardless of which strategy you're using, trading is never easy, but it's quite simple. It's just, it's about buying the boxes, right? Buying the boxes. Um, and again here, oh, by the way, I actually see that this box, it's moved a little bit somehow should be a little bit lower should be 50,006, so like that. Um, but yeah, it's, you know, they are colorful enough, they're big enough and people can add positions there and then scale out as we rally. And this happened again and we had enough bullish signals, but to really confirm that this larger fourth wave has bottomed on the 5th of July, we need the five wave move up. And visually, we might already call this a five wave move up. We have a wave one, a wave two, a wave three and the white and the yellow microstructures, they are the same until here, until the Wednesday high. And now it's all about, are we already in the fifth wave? Because we need the five waves to confirm from an analysis point of view that we've actually bottomed on the 5th of July. So it's possible that this was just the A wave. We've seen a B wave rally and this is now a C wave down and then we go up or this here was all of wave four and we're already in the fifth wave, which is also possible. No? Essentially, we don't know. We don't know, but I already, I thought it was quite clear yesterday when I said I, my assumption is we're in the fifth wave um, because of how overstretched we are, but there's still a chance this is just a high B wave because it's in three waves and we didn't break above resistance. So both possible, but essentially both are bullish scenarios and you can only manage this uncertainty with with trading tactics and strategies right um it's the only way how you can manage this uncertainty but they are both bullish scenarios the immediate support area is between 64150 and 65840 so if the wave 5 is already unfolding this support area should hold it's not a target but this is a support area that should hold so we don't need to test it necessarily um but um, if we get there, there could be another opportunity to look for an entry, even though most of the rally is likely done. It's all about, okay, let's get that, that fifth wave finished to possibly 69 to 70 K, at least that they are standard targets, further extensions always possible. Um, and in the very short term, I mean, looking really at the microstructures, it seems like 
we could get another pullback before we continue the rally. At least this would be one idea I have. Can't show you, you know, all the potentials here because there's all corrective mass, but I find it quite likely that this year was a three wave rally. Yep. Maybe this is an A, B, C, and this is a B wave pullback then of wave five and we rally in wave C. Why do we have an ABC structure in wave five? Well, because the third wave is also an ABC structure. Here, A, B, C in the third wave. So the fifth wave has to be one as well. We're dealing with a diagonal pattern. Now, anybody who's familiar with Elliott wave will know that A waves can be five wave movements. So it could also be that this fifth wave, uh, sorry, this A wave gets five waves. If that's the case, then it's even more clearly bullish right? Yeah, but the parameters haven't changed. So basically, we've just seen sideways movement today. Um, I highlighted like an hour ago or so on Discord um, that we might go a little bit higher in this smaller B wave before we come down in wave C of B. And that's what we're doing right now. So it's a th three wave move up. It just looks a bit like A wave down, B wave up, C wave down. What we need, however, is a confirmation that the C wave down is starting is a break below this low from, well, intraday low at 66,320. That would be marking the start of wave C of B. And then from there we can go higher. Um, but bear in mind, bear in mind, you know, I'm, I'm continued, I continue to track further upside because five waves should get minimally to 68,550. But most of that rally, I would say is done now. The main element of a trend is always the third wave. We've seen a fourth. We could already be in the fifth, so it might get just that last bit to 70K maybe um, to finish it. So from a reward to risk point of view, it was better to buy down here in the box than to look for an entry up here. Okay, but you might have a different edge, you might have different strategies and so on. Just saying that um, most of the rally is likely done. So it's rather about understanding that we could get a decent pullback soon. But to really call it a five wave move, I'd like it to get to right like 68.5K, 69, 70K. No? So we're a bit in no man's land at the moment, which is normal on a weekend. So we're just moving sideways here below resistance, but above support. So hope you liked the update. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe. And if you really like the content, then please check out the channel membership. Also make sure that you follow us on Instagram and Twitter for additional content. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.